That's the dirtiest collection of toys I've ever bought. You want to see what we got? Stick around. All right, guys, this is one of those collections I didn't even bring in the shop. It is literally looks like it was scooped out of a sandbox. Um, pretty bad. I have a basket I'm going to use to sift it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. I don't know if there's any gems in here. I was kind of intrigued um, to see what was buried in the dirt. Do a little uh, archaeology here to see what we find. But hopefully there's some bits of plastic gold. Let's check it out. All right. As you can see, this is in a classic number six tortilla chip box. I don't know if that box is old or not, but it's G.I. Joe. There's all kinds of stuff in here, guys. It's just... I mean, there's an inch of dirt in there. So hopefully we'll be able to find some stuff in here that's good. There's a couple other things, you know, random bits and pieces and all that stuff. But, you know, we're going to see what we can sift out. I need a box to put this stuff in because that's going to be used to sift. All right, it's not as exciting as the uh, tortilla chip box, but it's a box nonetheless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the big pieces and kind of see what's in here. And again, this is probably going to be a beater lot. This is more or less... Um, what accessories can we get out of here that we can use to complete stuff after it's cleaned up? The gentleman said he was cleaning out his, um, I guess his basement. And he's getting ready to move. I do not know what that is. What is that thing? Uh, Filmation, Mexico. Not sure. Look that one up. But yeah, they got a bunch of Joes. Um, again, these things are, they're filthy. I mean, this is the epitome of disgusting and dirty. Played with. Well loved, right? We got a hillbilly gym here. It's got some paint. Where is that? It's not that bad compared to the rest of the stuff in here. Go bots. Oh, let's see. We got dog. See, look like that. That's good. It's not broken. It was in there. Maybe the dirt padded the uh, padded the uh, the thing from getting damaged over time. You got a little Skeletor there. Mexico. Got a faker. No sticker on him. Not in the best shape. Oh, what's that? That looks like it goes to mask. Maybe that's the top to a, one of the vehicles. So, like I always say, when, when I'm looking at a collection, the things you got to keep in mind when you're pricing something out is this, the completeness, the cleanliness, and the condition. And this is, uh, you know, pretty much has none of those things. Duke! But, again, like I said, I want to see if there's going to be any weapons or parts in here that I can use uh, to complete stuff I have that's in nicer shape. You never know what you're going to find in some of these collections. I mean, there might be a gem buried down in there um, that I need to complete something that's in better shape. But, like, stuff like this, the rest of the vehicle's not here, so that thing's just going to go in, like, a parts lot. And a lot of times, that's what I'll do. You know what that goes to. Um, with a lot of the broken stuff is we'll just do parts lots um, just to kind of move it. But I'll clean this stuff up. I'm not going to throw it up there like this. But, yeah, they're, they're not in very good shape. Surprisingly, not a lot of broken crotches and uh, thumbs for the condition of the box. Again, maybe the dirt is a good padding material. And it's not like you can just soak these because, you know, there's screws. All oh, the screws are probably rusty. Yeah, they're rusty anyway, so I might just be able to run these under some water and knock off the majority of the dirt. Big boa. Is this thing broken? Oh, the base is in there. That's good. I'm always missing the, uh, the base. Or that thing's always snapped. Oh, we had two big boas. Nice. See, like I can use this to complete big boas that I have. But these figures, unless there's something good in here, um, or a rare figure, this is just going to be a parts lot. And again, like I said, a lot of times, and I'll clean them up. They'll be on our eBay page. You go on there and you can see we'll put part lots up. Um, and there's other stuff on there too. We're, we're starting to get more stuff listed online um, on our eBay store. Ooh, muscle men, those are always fun. So the shop opens up here soon. We open up, obviously, at uh, 10 o'clock. I think it's like 10.35 or 10.45 right now. But hopefully we'll find... Uh, I gotta get these pieces out. I'm gonna dump it in my strainer here. Hopefully we'll find something good in here. We've already gotten a couple weapons that are usable. Yeah, that's broken. Garfield. What's this? I don't know what that crossbow goes to. That's like one of those Rambo and the Forces of Freedom guys. That goes to a Rattler. What's that yarn ball go to? Maybe a Ninja Turtle? Oh good, there's the other base for the big boa. He man Oh god, these are filthy. 
The hose, those are always useful. I'm kind of setting some of these weapons at the side over here. But yeah, these things are, they're long gone. A good uh, starter collector. You know, but there's literally dirt coming out of them. I don't know if you can see it. I'm shaking them and there's dirt coming out of their torsos. Like, I don't know how this got all this dirt in here. Like, was it stored in like a crawl space or something? Or did he just scoop them out of his, um... Ugh. Scoop them out of a sandbox. Like, literally. Did these come straight out of a sandbox? I'm not sure what that is. Ordek. So we're thinking about starting to do some live uh, sales also, guys. So let us know in the comments below what times would be good for you. We actually have a... Um, Denise did a Google Drive thing um, on our Facebook page. So we're going to try to start doing some of those. Just kind of some more things to do and oh look hillbilly jim's hat that's good that's from willow because as you guys see we got a lot of collections we have a lot of followers that are not local that can't come to the shop and a lot of people have been asking us hey are you going to do a, a web page it's a cabbage patch shoe and we started doing a web page we did a web page um but we didn't put any inventory on there because when we tried it, it something happened and it messed everything up and um you know a lot of this stuff just sells pretty fast anyways in the store, but we wanted to do something, who pants, so everybody could, uh, you know, grab some of the stuff you see in these collections. Yeah, not a lot of broken thumbs and crotches, surprisingly. I mean, that stuff there's not as bad as this stuff, but, ugh. What's that, is that mask? I see the mask or star com. It's timber. Well, oh, that's a uh, tunnel rise. If we find the flashlights, that's good. Those flashlights are always missing. Serpentor and his teeth are broke. I think that goes to Snake Eyes. That goes to Bazooka, I believe. Some of these weapons are super... Ooh, ooh, look at that. Could use that for something. Some Legos. Something going on. So yeah, let us know what you think, um, where you'd want to, when you would want to uh, see a live auction and all that jazz. We're going to do it either on our like Facebook page or on um, whatnot. What's this? Ah. I'm not sure what that is. I think it's G.I. Joe, but I'm just not sure what piece it is. So yeah, there's some good weapons in here I mean that I can use for stuff. That goes to uh, the guy with the flat top. I forget his name. This stuff's gonna need a good scrubbing. Can't wait till Shane comes to work. He's gonna be like, What you got today, boss? I'm gonna say, Well, buddy, we got some cleaning to do. We're about ready to expand and get some more people in here, too. Um, it's just a lot for Denise and Shane and I and my dad. You know, we get to the point where we might need to get some more bodies. We'll put something out once we do. Ugh. What do you guys think? You think this was a good collection to pick up or no? Would you have bought this collection if it came in? And I didn't dig through all this dirt, so I was just hoping there would be stuff in here. Ah! Uh, this is some good weapons in here. Some stuff I need, some stuff... Uh not really broken, again. Like, normally you'll have those little things, well, that one's broken. But a lot of these little weapons will just be snapped and broken and, and all that stuff. Get this big stuff out, and then we are going to uh, sift it and see. Because I think most of the weapons, they shouldn't fall through there. But there's a lot of dirt in here. He just said he was cleaning his basement, so I'm not sure, you know, if his basement had a dirt floor or what. or No clue. There's a headset. Some paint. There's some garbage in here too, obviously. I think we have one complete guy so far. I think uh, that dreadnought is complete. There's the ray. I think it's disgusting. I 
Yeah, but by far, this is probably the dirtiest collection I've ever picked up. And I've picked up some dirty collections. Like the big finale is going to be sifting this through this to see what's in there. So stick around or fast forward to the end. Oh, what's that? Is that chain? I don't know what that chain goes to. Maybe one of the Thundercats. I don't think that's Panthers. It's Max. He looks furry. Oh, there's one of Big Boa's boxing gloves. That's good. An army ant. Ugh. I think it might be time to try to sift this. Let's see what else is in here. I'm gonna do this on the ground. Ugh. Cordy's IGA. Quartz IGA. Don't know if that's new or old. I don't know if that's been like sitting there since the 80s or what. Okay, some stuff went through. I think it's Cobra Commander's hose. That's good. Another hose. And a final sift through here if there's anything. I, this is the first time I've ever sifted through dirt to try to find G.I. Joe weapons. But some of these like little mics and stuff are extremely small. Don't see anything else. I feel like a dang archaeologist. Like panning for gold. Panning for plastic gold through dirt. Yeah, I don't see anything else in there. Whew. Roly poly. Oh, wait, what's that? That's a sticker for something. I'm not sure what that goes to. Ugh. All right. So what else we got in this box? Arm. Oh, there's someone's arm. Someone didn't survive. That sticker goes to one of those uh, target things. Like the Cobra rifle range or whatever. Alright, let's uh... See if anything else is in here. Alright. Uh, is there actual gold in there? It looks like there's flakes of gold. But there's not. Um, nothing else in that box. It doesn't look like. It's starting to windy out. I don't know. It might rain today. So if you guys did not know, we are doing a toy drive to uh, get some toys for Toys for Tots. And in addition to what we're going to be donating, we are doing a uh, toy drive. If you bring in or buy uh, for Toys for Tots, a $20 or more toy. Um, we will enter you into a raffle where you can win a $200 gift card. Now, if you're not local and you want to still participate, um, you can do that. You can, uh, you know, Venmo or something and we'll grab some toys, uh, for you or whatever. And we'll still enter you in the contest or not contest, I guess a raffle, whatever you want to call it. Looks like there's some, uh, more Joes in here. What the heck is that? Royal Elephant Charisma Cologne. I wonder if that works if I try that, if that will be more charismatic. A pine cone. Some old batteries that aren't even used. Uh-oh, uh-oh. One of my favorites, Dress Blue Gung-Ho. Got He-Man Shield in there, it looks like. Oh, that's good. Got a sword for, uh, what's his name? Uh, lion -O. Another muscle man, get He Man's uh, thing. There's some more armor. Are there two shields in there for He Man? No, I just moved it. Alright, that's, uh, that's going to the garbage. But yeah, it looks like you got some mask guys in there and stuff. And some more Joes. 
and you, sir, are our trash bucket. So again, a lot of stuff rough, rough shape. Um, that's newer. Oh, does he have his mic? No, of course not. That's what you always want to find is the mics and stuff. But these guys are pretty tough to find. Some cops and crooks. Cobra Con. Alright. A lot of TV connections. This is Zoit. Ooh, more cologne. I am gonna be smelling nice. Boy Scout lapel. So got some random stuff in here. Nothing too spectacular. Oh, that's nice. There's a uh, headdress for Mumra. Another muscle man. Snake eyes with what in God's name did he do to Snake Eyes? Some kind of mask. I'm not sure what that goes to. But rubber band needs to be replacing him. These ones aren't as dirty. So these ones, I mean, looks like still got rusty screws on them, but not as bad. Another army ant. That's a cool little toy line. Just uh, some goofy little ants. What do we got in here? A couple more figures. Like, that's newer. Hot Wheels or Matchbox, whatever you want to call them. Whoa, high bounce ball! We'll bounce that, see how high it goes. Got a Grimlock there. It's not in good shape, but it exists. Um, antenna. Manny faces. Oh, that's good. There's a, uh, I think that goes to Stonedar or Rock. Rock Rokon or Stonedar, one of the two. Motu guys. No super rare He Man guys in here that I'm seeing. No, uh, like, Wonder Bread He Mans or Scare Glows or anything like that. Sector. Piece of a rocking chair. A Tila's headdress. Ew. Uh, broken Thundercat. Or, uh, uh, what's his name? Battlecat, not Thundercat. A couple Voltrons missing their canopies, unfortunately. Uh, Silverhawks. Evil Lynn. A couple more Joes. It looks like there's a bunch of Hot Wheels in this bucket. Let's dump them. See if there's anything... Good mixed in. Hot wheel, hot wheel. I call them all hot wheels. I know people hate it, but. What? In... It's a cat balloon. Ooh. Die cast cars. How about that? I'll just call them die cast cars. Not sure what that goes to. So if there's any die cast in here that like stands out, like, oh my god, that's a good one, let me know. Because I know nothing about these things. Some G.I. Joe legs. Some would argue I know nothing about many things, which is true. Oh, what's his name? That's uh, that guy from The Little Mermaid. Sebastian, I think. I have never watched The Little Mermaid, ever. Not part of it. I might have seen parts of it, but I don't think I've ever sat down and like watched the whole thing. Ugh, ah, someone's hair. <laughs> Wind took care of that. <laughs> I just ran. I was like, no, no, sir, I do not let you have me. No, sir, not at all. So, I mean, <sighs> nothing super great. I mean, this is uh, obviously what I bought it for, is for the hopefully finding parts and pieces, which I found some I'm going to need. Um, I only paid 90 bucks for the collection. I mean, I didn't know it was in it. It was kind of filthy, so probably got my money's worth, at least out of the weapons. This stuff's not super valuable. Um, all that goes to. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Would you have bought this collection? Um, not a huge collection, but, you know, some decent weapons and stuff. These guys will clean up easy. But uh, let's see. Let's see how high we can bounce the high bounce ball. Oh, I think it went higher than the pole. Uh oh, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. Oh, God. Oh, wait, it's coming back. 
couldn't have done that better if I tried. And I did. Anyways, guys, I got to get the shop open, and I will see you here.